let's talk about perspective projection in the case of perspective projection all the rays coming out uh, uh, will will not be parallel to each other so they will converge at some point so let's say that this is a point of an object so all the rays coming out from this uh, that uh, uh, object will converge somewhere at negative z axis i have drawn this axis in this way for sake of simplicity now let's try to see what happens let's say that after projection this point will be at this in this xy plane so this is a p dash and this will not be xy because this all the rays are not uh, parallel to each other so this is x uh, x dash y uh, y dash and z dash z dash is uh, zero in this plane in this plane anywhere z value is zero so let's try to uh, now so now we have to calculate what could be the value of x dash y dash and z dash is obviously zero so let's say that all the rays coming out from this uh, will converge at this point so i'm going to join this and let's say that this point is y and this distance is d now i need to find out uh, the value of x dash y dash and z dash so let's try to draw a perpendicular to this z y plane so if I draw a perpendicular this z y plane, I will get the y value of this point. So this this entire thing is so let me write this is y. Okay. Now I can uh, what I can do here is I can I can join this two. Now if I uh, draw like this, if I draw a perpendicular to this z axis this distance is nothing but x this distance and this distance this is nothing but x all right now so i can i can also draw a perpendicular to this z y plane and i can i can do like this if this is x this is this is also x because this is nothing but the reflection so now i can again uh join this two points so let's try to join these two points all right now what about this p dash i can follow the same procedure if i do this uh, if i do this actually i need not to do this because this is this distance is x dash because uh, this this p dash lies on this plane and what about y mm. uh, so let me find out what could be the value of y so actually y is y sorry y dash is actually mm. let me see what could be the value of y so if i draw a perpendicular this one will be x and this one will be simply okay this distance is actually y dash And this distance is actually y dash. Okay, let's draw. This is y dash, and this is also y dash. Now, from from this, I have draw. Uh, I got a couple of triangles using the property of congruent triangle. I can get the value of x dash and y dash. So let's name this. This is O. Let's say that this. Okay, this is P. Uh, this is P dash. Let's say that this is A. This one is B. This one is y. Okay. This let's say this one is m n l. So now, if I consider this tri, okay, if I consider this triangle, this bottom one. Okay, this triangle, and this one, smaller one, both are similar triangle. So using the property of similar triangle, the ratio of the similar side will be same so what is the ratio for okay let's try to write from triangle m n y and triangle l o y uh, the similar sides are m n uh, divided by l o will be equals to uh, this one uh, sorry this one and this entire one so this one is actually uh, mn was uh, uh, for this bigger triangle so I should write the bigger triangle first 
so that's this will be my divided by uh, the smaller triangle oy now what is the value of oy and what is the value of my so you can observe that this this is nothing but z okay z distance z distance of this point which is projected here also so so mn let's write write the value of mn mn is x and lo is x dash so and this my is uh, this z plus d and this oy is actually d so the value of x dash will be x d by z plus d so we got our first point now how to calculate how to how to get the value of y dash so if i consider this triangle this big one and this smaller one then i can get i can get the value of uh, y dash so if i consider this triangle triangle a m y and triangle this one is b so b o y so similar sides as a m r uh, and b y so the ratio will be a m by b y which is same as uh, a m by b y which is same as m o sorry this will not be mo this will be entire thing my divided by uh, the smaller one which is oy so what is the value of am am is y and by is y dash and my is nothing but this portion plus this portion is this total portion which is z plus d this distance is d so i can write z by uh, actually my is z plus d and O y is basically d, so I will get y dash equals to uh, y d by z plus d. All right. Now I need to form a homogeneous matrix from this. Now here, let's try to see what could be the matrix. So let's call x dash, y dash, z dash, and I am taking h here. Unlike the previous videos, I was taking I was taking one right here, but in this video I am taking h here because there is some reason. It will be clear in a moment. For now, we should write h right here. Let's say that something will be at this transformation matrix, and this is the old coordinate x, y, z, and this one I can write as one. Okay, now now what could be the value of this? If I ignore this bottom portion z plus d. So for now I am ignoring this division. Okay, there is a reason you will get that very soon. For now we should consider this x d and y d. So uh, x dash is basically x d. So I should write d here. So d will be multiplied with this x, and there is nothing here. So I can write zero, 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 and I should multiply d also here with uh, y. I should multiply uh, zero with x, uh, d with y. Nothing should be there. And for z, obviously it's zero, and there is nothing also. Now instead of one, okay. Now I I want to write the value of h as z plus d. Why I'm writing this? You will get that very soon. So what I should do if I want to get a value of z plus d for h? For that reason, I should write a one here because. Uh, if i multiply these two matrices this one and z will be multiplied and i should write d here so in this way i will get z plus d now after getting this if i compute uh, if i multiply these two matrices i will get x dash equals to x d y dash equals to y d but this is homogeneous coordinate system so this this last dummy coordinate is not one so if it's not one, then in order to get the actual coordinate, we should divide uh, each and e each other coordinate by the value of h. So in this case, value of h will be z plus d. So if uh, I divide x dash, which is uh, pre uh, in this case is x d, if I divide x dash by h, I will get z plus d, which is nothing but the actual expression. Similar a similar case will happen for y dash. So this is the beauty of homogeneous coordinate. So that's it for today. Thanks. Thank you very much.